up guys, it's your boy Too High Up, bringing you a video for the new Warzone meta. Today they rolled out a patch, bringing the N MTZ Interceptor down on damage, and we're gonna check out the top three guns, in our opinion here at Ignited Gaming, that will take over as the meta. So, first gun, gotta be the Polymiot 7.62 toss on the conversion kit and it turns this thing into a beast. It has a 7.3 TTK and is a laser. Now here are the attachments we run. And as you can see if we top sit into the firing range, very easy to control at all ranges and kills insanely fast. The problem you're gonna have with this gun it's a little less mobile as I would like personally uh, so I try and go for ARs however the damage is just too good to deny next up after the Palmyot 762 we go over to the Bass B. Now I was skeptical after the Bass B nerf into how good it actually would be, but after picking it up, after coming back from Gulag, killing a guy, pick up their guns when I can't grab my own loadout, I realized that it is still a beast. Now here's the build that we run for it. However, if you don't need to use a suppressor or you're okay with having more recoil control instead of a suppressor, go with the Tempest GH50. Now this thing will increase the virtual recoil control and turn it into more of a laser. As you can see, I'm barely able to touch the right stick, and even at that far range, it has little to no recoil. After the Bass B, our third and final one has to be the MCW 6.8. Now, it is a marksman rifle, and it's basically the reincarnation of the DMR. Here's the build that we run for it. You can toss on the 30 round mag if you want a little bit more mobility, but for playing trios and quads, because it takes a little more shots to get the same damage, I toss on the 60 round drum. For vertical recoil control, I toss on the XRK Kraken. However, you can put on the V, let's find it real quick, the VT-7 Spirit Fire Suppressor if you want to have a suppressor on your gun. I do toss on the stock instead of a rear grip. It gives more recoil control and about the same penalties for movement as this, the rear grip. Now, if you go into the firing range, you're gonna be able to see very quickly that it fires a lot faster than the MTC Interceptor. And does instant damage. Now, I know that the training dummies do not translate well into Warzone, but let me tell you this thing is a beast. Check out some of the clips that we got with these guns and let us know what you think the next meta is going to be for Warzone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let us know what your favorite build is post MTZ Intercept.